Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful morning here in Pennsylvania. Well, it's now August 3rd, and so, you know, my, this summer is just flying by, but now it's time to think about our fall crops. And I just got back from Ray's Nursery, and so I, I wanted to talk to you about what plants I purchased. So thanks for joining me today. So I have here in my garden journal, you know, and this is something I always recommend every gardener to keep records of their successes and failures in their garden. And so I actually planted some of my broccoli here in, uh, in April 19th is when I planted my broccoli here in this same, same section. And you know, broccoli and cauliflower, a lot of your vegetables you can plant in the spring and also in the fall. And so, I have here in front of me, a, it's a flat of plants. And so I have some cauliflower, I have some curly leaf kale, and I have some gypsy broccoli. But this flat was uh, $14 for, for 10 of these market packs. And these cell packs have each have six in them. And uh, they normally would cost $1.60 for the six plants. But when you buy a flat of 10, it, you know, it's $14. And so, uh, for me, it, I don't have the time on my schedule to really start these by seed indoors. And so, for me, I don't really spend that much money buying these. I got 60 plants here total. And, uh, and so, for me, I think it's a really good deal. And uh, so, what I have here is I have some, I have a market pack of six of the cauliflower. And it's an early variety, you know. Now that we're heading into the into the fall season, you know, our d days get shorter. You know, the sun's not as high in the sky, and so, you know, you always want to choose a a variety of a plant that's going to not take as long to grow. And so, this is an early cauliflower. It matures in 50 days, and the fruit size is one to two pounds, and it does require full sun as most of your vegetables, you know, your leafy greens, they can get away, away with partial shade. And then it's also a cool weather crop. And it also says the water well fertilize in mulch. And you can space the cauliflower like 18 inches apart and then rows about 30 inches apart. And then <clears throat> I also have here, I have five market packs, six cell packs of my kale. And so you know, kale again is another cold hardy crop. And so I have, uh, like I said, I got five of these, and so I have 30 of these plants. And uh, I'm also going to be planting some of these inside my lean to greenhouse. And then here I also have the, the market pack of the uh, gypsy broccoli. Again, it's another early variety. It matures in 68 days and the fruit size is six inches. It also says here on the back, this heat tolerant variety produces uniform domed heads and it holds well and it matures again in 68 days. Prefers fertile, well-drained soil and cooler temperature. And again, full sun, you wanna have full sun for like your tomatoes, your peppers, your zucchini, all your melons, they require full sun. You know, your leafy greens like your your lettuces and your Swiss chard or curly leaf kale, you know, they don't require as much sun, but um, and so what I'm going to be doing too today is I wanted to plant some of this this broccoli Also on these market packs it never hurts to you know if you're out buying them It never hurts to pull them out of this out of the market pack here to check the roots because you don't want a, a plant that's really root bound, you know, that's just strangled by roots and so this this one here is not root bound 
And uh, the, again, this is the, the curly leaf kale variety. And then this here is the, the cauliflower. And then also, this is the, uh, the gypsy broccoli. And so, you know, looking forward to having fresh bro broccoli from the garden. And also when you get your plants, it never hurts to go through this cell pack and, you know, there may be a few leaves that, that you may need to trim or pick, pick from your plants and uh, to, to thin them out. I'm also going to be planting these underneath my row covers behind me here. I'm under these, uh, this low tunnel hoop house. Um, I have a row cover there and so um, I'm going to be covering my kale and my cauliflower and broccoli because the aphids and the, you know you see that whitish yellowish butterfly flying around the, they lay eggs under your leaves and that they develop into worms and just really devastate your your plants and so I always encourage gardeners you know to be proactive with your plants you know and uh, it takes a little bit of time and effort to a little bit of money for these row covers and hoop houses but it's well worth worth the time and effort not having to worry about using chemicals and you know this way you can uh, not worry about having pests on your plants. I'm also going to be growing these in my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil and then I also use alfalfa pellets you know throughout the season it's a nice slow release fertilizer they have like a nutrient profile of like 3 2, two. It also adds a nice organic matter to your garden soil and also the soil microbes, they like to feed off of that. And so anyhow, I hope this video gave you some ideas on what you can grow out in your garden, you know, come the fall season. I mean, you could, you know, you, you need to take your, le your first frost date here in Pennsylvania Zone 6. Ours is around October 15th. And so, you know, these are going to take a couple months to to uh, to reach maturity plus if you were and so you know you know you need to take your first frost date and then back up a couple months and then if you if you're even going to be starting these indoors by seed you need that maybe add another month to that as to when you would start to start these indoors and so this is going to give me a good two and a half months for these to reach maturity plus being under the row covers they're going to be more protected and also these are cold hardy plants so they can they can uh, they're okay with some light frost and also the kale of course that can go right through the winter uh, oftentimes right right in, even in the snow and so that's the one beauty of planting kale this time of season I have a lot of Swiss chard in my garden but that's frost sensitive uh, you know once the frost hits that that's pretty it'll take some light frost but the heavy frost it, it's going to kill those plants so anyhow I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden if you have any questions or comments about this video feel free to leave them in the section below you could also subscribe to our channel so you could receive future videos and you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com so anyhow I hope you have a wonderful day out in the garden until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.